Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars, and thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about another pick company. Uh, this time, we're talking about V picks. You might not be able to see it well. There's a couple here. Uh, so this is called the Traditional Light. Uh, this is like the Tradition uh, Ruby uh, Medium Light, and then I have one that is called the Gypsy. That is rounded, and I'll explain why I chose these picks. But uh, more importantly, we're going to be talking about their customer service. So, when I got these picks, um, I actually was gifted to them during Christmas time. And I got all of them, and they came in the mail uh, in a paper-thin package. They were uh, uh, duct-taped, or double-sided taped, rather, uh, to a piece of cardboard. If you look at the website, uh, the claims are that, you know, they ship them like loosely before, they've done it before, and they get broken. You know, there's some sort of issue, they get broken in the mail, so they started doing that. So they no longer get broken when shipping them in the mail. And I can understand that. However, not only do they come with double-sided tape stuck to them, uh, which he recommends, you know, using warm water and soap to rub the adhesive off the back because you cannot use paint thinner. So a lot of people that, um, you know, paint thinner, uh, gooby gone, goof off, things along those lines, do not use that on these picks because they will eat the pick and you're probably not gonna get a refund because he has it listed on the website. So I understand the reason to be shipped that way. However, comparing it to something very similar, uh, you know, gravity guitar picks, I will ex they, they ship theirs in a little bit of a different way. So the Gravity Guitar Picks come in this little bag right here, and um, they actually come in a bubble packaged envelope. So even if they do get bounced around, they're really not going to get broke. Um, and I think the extra money for shipping would be worth it in this case. In my opinion, you know, you don't have to deal with the adhesive, you don't have to worry about people accidentally destroying your picks because they didn't read the instructions on the website and they used paint thinner uh, or, you know, like nail polish remover or something along those lines and ended up destroying their picks, at which point they could then call you uh, and you probably tell them something along the lines of, sorry, can't help you, you should have followed the instructions, should have checked out the website, um, and, and you may or may not get a replacement. I don't know how that works. I assume he probably just gives you a replacement. Uh, this is an individual that's doing that. I don't know how many people work for VPEX, uh, but he did specify, you know, this is an individual. They are handmade in his garage. Um, he uses the materials. Uh, he uses some sort of laser cutter, some sort of flame finisher, you know, to get them hard and solid, ready to rock. And um, they do have imperfections on them. At least my first lot did. So I was not particularly happy with those imperfections. So I reached out to the guy. I sent him an email. Um, the email never got back, so I actually left him a voicemail, at which point the guy began texting me. Uh, he was very helpful, very useful, and he was like, you know, show me some pictures. I want to see some proof. I showed him the proof. Um, and then after a little bit of back and forth, he was like, I, I basically explained, I'm not looking for a refund. I'm just looking for a replacement because the ones I sent, I think, are kind of rough. Um, if you look at this one, you may or may not be able to pick it up on camera. There is a grind mark around the entire pick and just around the edges, you know, there's like little slashes, things along those lines. Uh, this one, th there's some, you know, a little bit of scratches, a little bit beat up on the front. Uh, overall, the actual tip is fine. Uh, and then the ruby here, um, there is a line, may or may not be able to pick it up depending on the light, kind of goes right through the side. Uh, so I wasn't, you know, 100% happy with the order and he worked with me and I greatly appreciate that. Got my replacements. The replacements are all fine. Uh, no real issues there. Um, these ones, I probably am... I, I don't know. I might use them. I might toss them in the garbage. Um, because I just didn't think for, you know, paying $5 for one single guitar pick when I can get, you know, an entire pack of Dunlops. I know it's not the same quality. I know it's not the same material. But I can get an entire pack of Dunlops for, four, like, $4 and some odd change. Like a 12-pack. Um tax, shipping, whatever. And 9 out of 10, there's going to be zero imperfections whatsoever. And then I'm paying $5 for something and there's imperfections in it. So you can see, I think, on my end where I was kind of slightly annoyed um, just the way it was kind of shipped, uh, the way that the picks arrived, the way they looked. Um, I haven't even played, I don't think I've even used any of these yet. I'm going to use the new ones that I got. Uh, I will try them out, test them, 
do a video. However, I did have a lot better experience the one of the first times I actually bought some picks. Uh, this is the Euro, uh, the VPix Euro. It's got holes in it, and I got a free pack of these um, a while back. I think just to try you know try something else. And uh, when I fir these first arrived, these were excellent condition. Um, so, you know, there wasn't really any problems with these to my knowledge. Uh, so their, their customer service is great. You know, the guy will work with you. Um, so if you have a complaint like I did initially, they will get you a replacement. You know, don't be afraid to ask the guy, you know, if you get your picks, they're beat up, scratched up. Uh, they have some sort of issue with them. Don't be afraid to reach out to the gentleman at VPix and just ask them to send you a replacement because he will most likely send you that replacement. Um, you got to work with them a little bit, you know, you, you got to provide your proof. Obviously, you know, all companies want the proof that, you know, there's something not correct with their products or something you don't like about their products. You got to send it. Uh, but keep in mind at the same time that these are handmade. So there may be some imperfections when you get them. You know, that's something he told me. It's, you know, it's not, you know, like, uh, you know, they're not stamping them out of a piece of plastic or something, you know, they're not 100% perfect and they're not never going to be 100% perfect. But uh, in my mind, paying $5 for a guitar pick, I want it as close to 100% perfect as I can get. Um, I did have one issue a while back. I made a video about gravity and they worked with me on that too. Uh, but I am very thankful that VPix worked with me. I will enjoy, I think, trying out these three new style picks. And I'll be making a video about them as well in the future. So the ones I got here, as I said, this is like your traditional style pick. And I'm probably going to do like a shot by shot comparison uh, between this and the Gravity Classic, the 1.5. Because they're basically the same exact pick, uh, same exact thickness. And similar to Gravity, because I've talked about them quite a lot too. Large variety of different sizes. Um, I think there's even like a 64 millimeter pick something like this thick. It's crazy. They got some crazy stuff on their website, so feel free to check them out. I'll probably put a link to them. Uh, great company overall, great products, you know, but, but keep in mind that I'm just giving you my experience with this second order. First order, absolutely no problem. They did ship them. The first time I ordered them, I got a bag like this. Um, not exactly like this. I think it was a little smaller, but I did get like a Ziploc bag like that the first time I ordered the Europix. Uh, so maybe it was just, you know, a shipping issue where a lot of things were breaking, but I honestly, I think if they go with like a bubble pack packed envelope, you know, back to the Ziploc bag, there won't be any problems. You know, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, using adhesive to stick them to a piece of cardboard. They get shuffled around in the mail. The cardboard rubs on the picks, scratches them up more. Uh, you know, call basically that's, I think what ultimately caused my problem is just, you know, the mail carriers, you know, getting jumbled around, uh, without, you know, ready protection for the picks getting shipped to me. Uh, that is what it is, but, uh, I will do at some point, as I said, I'm going to talk about all three of these. Um, I'll bring out a guitar, which I don't do very often, not my videos, let's be honest. Uh, but we've got a guitar, we'll play a little bit of music. I'll go through the three or four picks because, you know, you've heard that one before, but bring it out again. And then I'll probably do a second video comparing and contrasting them to uh, Gravity Picks because uh, there's two of the three picks that I got. I got specifically those same shapes and sizes to do an AB uh, to the Gravity to see which one I like better because I like, you know, picks are something where I don't mind spending $5 on a single guitar pick once in a while. Um, if it's something that I really, really like, I'm going to keep buying them. If I don't like it, you know, you move on to a different company. But guitar picks are one of those things where, in most cases, not always, uh, they are cheap enough where you can experiment by different boutique brands, you know, go through different Dunlop styles, go through Fender. Um, you know, there's a million makers of guitar picks. So it's one of those things where I highly recommend to just explore, you know. Maybe take $100 and buy every which way brand under the sun for the shape size you like. And then whatever, you know, you find is your favorite. Maybe you resell the other ones or something or do what you gotta do. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.